Well, see, what happened was that I was in Ellis Island, very close to the Statue of Liberty, and over there around that area, there's a part where there's a hot dog stand. Not just a hot dog stand, just like an indoor restaurant where you can have hot dogs, burgers, fries, you name it, they have it, onion rings. I'm not sure what I got, really. I have it in my flip phone, but I can't find that flip phone since I don't use flip phones anymore like anybody else. And uh, what happened was that I gave the person my money, and then the change back that I received was in a Canadian quarter. And... I started freaking the fuck out. I was like, son of a bitch, why the fuck you give me this shit? I can't take this shit. I don't know what it's worth in face value. I don't know it's purchasing power. Suck my dick. And then everyone else around me was like, dude, relax. It's just Canadian money. One guy in the back was like, well, it's just that kind of guy. You're going to knock him out? I mean, he's only like, what, 13, 12? Imagine if that was you and back in the 80s, your mom would have knocked your ass out if you acted like that. I don't know who he was speaking to, but he also pissed me off, so I came up to him and said, Fuck you, nigga. Why are you talking shit like that? You don't know me like that. You don't know the kind of life I live. And while all that drama was happening... When they sent me back to New York, Manhattan, I actually got myself a Snickers bar with that Canadian quarter. I found out it was only about 20 cents on face value compared to a uh, United States quarter, which is like 25 cents face value. Maybe that's the actual person purchasing power. I'm not sure. I don't read into this shit. And all in all, what my stepdad said seemed accurate. But above all, all I can learn from that experience is that I can be a very emotional guy. I mean, I was expecting something very simple. I was just expecting a Maybe instead of a quarter, a Canadian quarter or something else, two dimes. But I wasn't expecting that, especially in Ellis Island, the Statue of Liberty that represents the United States. I mean, granted, I was very anti-nationalist, but I was expecting, I was expecting something that made sense. At hindsight, I realized that it's they're just a foreign currency. It's not even that foreign, it's just north of this nation. How hard is it going to be to calculate how different are the economies? I'm not going to hand somebody that quarter next time and expect it to either be five dollars or less than a penny. But I started freaking out because I guess I'm just that kind of guy back then that if he didn't get what he was expecting, he would panic the fuck out. Alright, so it's been another words of Leon. I, of course, am Leon Red. You can like me on Facebook, send the Q&As, I'll be willing to progress with that.